All right, guys, 19 November 2023, we have Bitcoin right here at 36,533. Oh, went up 549, hovering around 36,000. Oh, I think it's all been moving from 25,000 up to this 37,000. I think it was a 38,000 at one point due to this ETF talk. So here's an article. Let's go through it real quick. You can read it for yourself, but let's just go through it for fun. Spot Bitcoin ETFs could add billions to crypto market value. So Coinbase is still in the game, whereas Voyager, BlockFi, all those exchanges have dropped. Bankruptcy, black kaput. You know, hopefully people got their coins out in time. I think you'll get some of your money back if you didn't. You're, you pretty much lost it, I think. Pretty bad. All right, this is November 18th article. Uh, we got, let's see, cryptocurrency market investors are growing more confident that the U.S., uh, the SEC, will soon give the green light for an exchange-traded fund that invests directly in Bitcoin, BTC, USD. We know what that is. Uh, the narrative has been playing out in Bitcoin itself as the price of the highest profile token surged nearly 35% just from a month ago. What an awesome return. If you invested that in an equity, you wouldn't get that back probably in a couple years. But what a great little return in Bitcoin. If, you were, if you're watching it, uh, I used to mine the crap, and it just wasn't worth the the, the, the what do you call it? the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, just the electricity cost, the heat, the cost, the maintenance, and the possibility of burning your house down. Just <laughs> I kind of lost interest and in, and pretty much sold. Uh, I'm gonna say 80 percent of my stuff. Yeah, I got some CPU stuff I want to dump. I think eventually, maybe next year, I'll start selling my CPUs off. Yep, yeah, just buy. I'm just buying it on uh, Fidelity. And uh, holding it, and I know it's not my keys, not my coins, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, still, some maybe wonder what all the fuss is about. Proponents of a spot Bitcoin. I don't understand the spot stuff. Uh, I don't understand the term. Uh, ETF had contended that the approval of, uh, of such a product would open up Bitcoin investment uh, investing to a wider range of investors and therefore become a more widely acceptable asset class. Okay. I guess the ETF and spot thing go hand in hand. All right. Oh, Coinbase, the largest crypto exchange in the U.S., said a recent report that the product, if approved, could open crypto markets to players in uh, traditional finance. Uh, yeah. So I heard this on the CNBC thing as well. If you get this out there and it's in an EFT, an ETF, then it's kind of regulated, which is a good thing. It's going to cut down on fraud and all this stuff. But now financial advisors and financial houses can recommend it to their uh, clients taking their equity positions and buying some of it in Bitcoin. That's the idea is opening it up to more uh, traditional uh, traditional means like in, through uh, financial accounts and stuff, uh, investors and houses and stuff like that, right? So your financial advisor will call you, hey, Timmy, hey, the uh, Bitcoin ETF is now up. Do you want to put some money in there? Yeah, let's give about 2%. Okay, so it's going to open it up to people that don't know anything or give a crap about Bitcoin or understand the project and the mission of Bitcoin. They just want to get in, maybe get a 30% return in a month and go, yay. All right. All right, over a long run, that's about Bitcoin ETF. Would add billions of dollars to the overall crypto market cap. That's all right. That's the same old gist, opening up to everybody. But wait. I'm right here, guys. If you're reading with me, it's reading hour. But wait, there's more. The opportunity is potentially much greater than just enabling new capital to access the crypto market. Uh, da, da, da. ETFs will ease the restrictions. Yes, the restrictions for large money managers and institutions to buy and hold Bitcoin, which will improve liquidity and price discovery for all markets participants. So yeah, I think 401ks, um, company 401ks, stuff like that, they can then, hey, let's buy a little Bitcoin. There you go. That's So it's opening up. It could be positive. Nobody knows what's going to happen. I've been dollar cost averaging in the Bitcoin since I stopped mining, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Not a lot. Again, I think 10% of what I have is in Bitcoin because, you know, you can only ever lose everything and maybe more. I don't know. All right. The regulatory approval of Bitcoin may also open the door for new products such as lending, futures, and options. Uh, I can multiply existing crypto offerings for accredited investors. All right. Same old, same old shtick. JP Morgan, who was really against Bitcoin a while ago, now they've flipped. Uh, 
argued that an approval of a spot ETF would not lead to a flood of new money. Ooh, he's, he's going against the narrative. These ETFs, he noted in a recent note, are already listed in Europe and Canada and have gained little interest from investors since their inception. When I see guys post this, it, it's like <clears throat> the Jim Cramer effect to the opposite. So this means it's probably going to do awesome for Bitcoin. <clears throat> Excuse me. BlackRock is among the largest Wall Street firms. They own the world, right? Uh, awaiting approval. They're the ones waiting approval for their ETF, which would allow investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin without having to directly hold the asset. So again, it's not going to be your keys, your coins. It's an ETF. The uh, company filed for the iShares Bitcoin Trust in June. It moved that field a rally across uh, crypto prices at traditional. Finances continues to push into the crypto space. All right, there's other asset managers racing to be the first to market the product in the U.S., including w Wisdom Tree Valkyrie Arc. Yeah, okay. Oh, Invesco, yep. Let's see, when BlackRock filed for the uh, product in mid-June, the price of Bitcoin soared just over 30 k from roughly 26, uh, now the uh, token is at, like you said, 20, uh, 37,000, 36,000. The, uh, the sharp upswing underscores the investor increased optimism about the potentially, potential regulatory okay of a spot ETF. I think so, I think so. Again, Bitcoin is king, Ethereum, Litecoin, all these other things, don't waste your time, just get Bitcoin. I have the other two as well. Litecoin's a turd for me. It went up to 400 bucks a couple years ago. I should have dumped it, but I didn't. I'm an idiot. That's the thing. You don't know when to sell. You got to set your price. What are you comfortable with? Take profits. Take profits. Otherwise, it'll drop and you'll be left holding, you know, nothing. You'll be back to where you started. So you got to you gotta mentally get ready to take profits. Then when it dips, which it always does, buy back in. You know, play with house money then. Don't play with your money. Oh, let's see. Some industry titans, the titans, dun, dun, dun. see the first approval coming as early as this year. Coinbase also reckons there's a good chance that at least one spot Bitcoin ETF may be approved before the end of the year, before Christmas. At Christmas, it's going to be a Bitcoin Christmas. Typically, the uh, SEC extends its decision window to the fullest extent allowed by its regulatory framework, which in this case would be the final deadline of January 10, 2024 for the ARC 2.1. I have no idea what that is. Bitcoin ETF application. All right, there you go, guys. So more and more people are talking about it. This is on my little Apple stock app, which again is a biased app because it's run by Apple. Uh, but you take, you, 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 you uh, read through the weeds and pick out the facts here and there and try to understand what the truth is. So it seems like there's one naysayer in JP Morgan about this ETF, Bitcoin ETF. Others are positive that's going to open it up for more institutional money. They've been saying that for years, but we'll see. So there you go. Enjoy. Do your own research. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you buying it? Are you dollar cost averaging? Are you mining for God's sake? Why? <laughs> You know, uh, just the cost, the overhead cost. Um, quick, quick sign up. People go, well, just use, uh, just use, uh, get some solar panels out there. Do you understand the cost of solar panels and the physical space? And there's a called an opportunity cost that you're just not going to recoup. You're not going to recoup your investment. It's just silly. Uh, just go buy the damn thing. Uh, or on the flip side of equities, you know, index 500 funds. Do a research. This is a no fee fund. This is Fidelity's. Vanguard has one, I think. Uh, most of the big firms have them. No, no fees. Get in there and just boom, let it ride. Compounding over time, time in the market with an index fund, you're going to do great. Time and just forget you have it. Uh, if you have ten years, start dollar cost averaging in. You don't have to drop it all in there and just index funds for the win over time. Uh, yeah, and don't be watching your investments every day because you're going to go nuts. And you're going to pull, pull the trigger log in and sell stuff you shouldn't have. And I was guilty of that. I sold NVIDIA and literally next week it jumped 100%. Uh, stupid. So learn from me. Do not do what I do. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. Go for it. Do great things. Bitcoin. Let's see what it does. It's, uh, yeah, interesting times.